Hello, in this how-to video, I will show you how to decompress your project to reduce the risk. The idea is to reduce the overall risk of the project by giving it more time. Now, the correct way of doing it is not to pad and bloat the estimation. That incurs a horrendous other kind of risk called overestimation risk, and Chapter 7 of Writing Software explains why this is a really bad idea. Instead, what you want to do, you want to relax the project by pumping float and loading the network. You don't change individual estimation. Instead, you add float. The best way of doing that is using Microsoft Project and adding a constraint on the last activity or last event in the project. And the constraint you're going to use is called start no earlier than, and then you move that event or last activity, and by doing so, you would pump float along the project. I'm going to be using here the files from chapter 11, and I'm going to take the normal solution and decompress it by one month. And you can see uh, chapter uh, 11 files has pairs of files. This is section, this is set uh, number 12, and I'm going to calculate the compression point number three. And so here's the, the file, the original file of the project. The first thing you do is you sort it so you know exactly what you're looking at. And in order to see the last activity of the project, I would sort it by start date. And we can see we have activity 21 over here. And I'm going to decompress it. So you can right click and go for the uh, task information, or you can just double click it and the task information comes up anyway. Go to the advanced tab. Under the advanced tab, you're going to use a constraint, start no earlier than. And you can start by simply pasting the current start date, which is 10, 14, 13, and it would actually make the date selector just go there. And if I want to move it by a month, I would have to move that start date by four weeks. So I just count one, two, three, and four. Now, look over here where the cursor is. You can see the total Slack column. Watch what happened when I click OK. All the values are increased because now I've decompressed the project. What I can do now is sort it again by ID, perhaps copy all of those float days, go back to my spreadsheet, paste in some kind of a temporary place, remove the space days that MS Project adds. and just copy the floats back to the spreadsheet. And we can see that I actually have the decompressed risk calculation over here, 0 0.43, 0 0.45, very close. We can also see that there's a need to adjust the outlier float here, and I'm replacing the higher the outlying float with the average value of the float plus one standard deviation. Once you take, once you have all these numbers, you can of course go and calculate a full risk curve for your project and include in it not just the solutions but also the decompression points. For more on calculating risk, see writing software.